Hello, my name is Sergey, and welcome to the CSCART video tutorials. Previously we spoke about the grids, now it's time to add some content inside them, and that's where the box come in. This is the skeleton of our page, now let's put some muscles on it. Every page needs breadcrumbs. That's where we begin. Add block. Let's find the breadcrumbs. Here they are. Mm. Okay. And then... Yes. We edit the breadcrumbs for the, our page. Uh, next block is the main content. Here it is. All right, now let's take a look at the, their settings. By the way, along with adding new box, I'll be demonstrating the changes on the sports page. To access the settings of the breadcrumbs, we need to click the gear button. Here they are. The name, the template. We have only one template for breadcrumbs. And uh, the wrapper. Um, wrapper determines uh, the frame and the title of a block. Let me show you. Okay, uh, sidebox general, save, uh, oh, before saving, user-defined CSS class, uh, if you want to make a unique look for your block. Oh, status, status active, well, disable for, you can disable uh, the breadcrumbs of the block for some categories, uh, that's not important now. Okay, save, now let's go to the sports page. Okay, we are at the storefront, sports and outdoors. Uh, here you can see the breadcrumbs. Here you can see the title of the breadcrumbs. And uh, this is the main content of a page. Okay, now let's go back. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the main content settings. Name, wrapper. Yes, uh, I think uh, in the case of a main content, uh, the wrapper is more useful than in the case of the breadcrumbs. Well, I want to use, uh, yeah, the same, sidebox general. Well, different wrapper, different title, different frame. I think that's clear. Okay, sidebox general. And after that I'm gonna disable the wrapper for the breadcrumbs. Okay. Speaking about this empty space, well, actually, the breadcrumbs, then this space is empty, will take uh, over place, so uh, they, it will be expanded to the 16 columns. This is done in order to prevent the empty space on the page. I think that's useful. Alright, now let's add something here. Uh, no, let's move the box here, here, and here. Well, uh -huh. then I'm gonna just delete this grid. Yeah, no problem. As you might remember, my purpose is to create a truly unique page. That's why I want to add some unique blocks. So I'm gonna create new blocks for my page. Add block. And here we have two tabs. Use existing block and create new block. Existing blocks are the blocks that have already been used in um, your store and they're just ready for work no manipulations required but I want to create a new one so I choose some kind of a template you can call it this way products block yes I'm gonna call my new unique block the best products Yes, I'm gonna show products on it, so I will use uh, the products template. The templates uh, determine the look, the visual look of your block on uh, the page. Here are some settings, show item number, hide options. For example, if we choose scroller template, there will be other settings, as you can see, lots of settings. But we need products for now. Okay, content, filling manually, add product. Yes, now I want uh, to add some products, just like this, add products and close, yes, free products will be the best, box settings, hide add to cart button, that's okay, 
create. Okay, uh, but it's not over yet. I can make some changes still. Walk options. Yes, now I want to choose a wrapper. So I want to make a title for my block, side box, important for example. Save. Now let's see the changes on the page. Here we go. A refresher page. Yes, the best products. Free run sects. Well, uh, I don't like how they look. I don't want to. I don't want to have them in calm. I want to make a line. Uh, for this, I need to go back and make some changes. Here we go. Block options. Okay. Uh, grid. That's what I need. So number of columns in the objects. I have three products, so I want to use three columns. Yes. The wrapper is the same. Save. Okay. Refresh. Voila. They are all in one line. Okay, that's what I wanted. What else do we need here? I think every product's page need um, filters. Yes, let's make some filters. For this, we go to this grid, add block, and uh, I want to find, yes, product filters. Template original, selected filter, horizontal filters. What's the difference? Instead of using vertical original filters, I want to use horizontal filters that will make my page look really unique. No problem. Okay, filters by yes by brand and by price. That's all. Create and of course don't forget about the wrapper. It's not obligatory, but in some cases wrapper is. Uh, really useful main box simple content done status done save okay let's take a look crash there we go okay brands price the horizontal filters well the best products don't look too good but <laughs> at least my page looks unique yeah pure individuality by the way, we can exchange the block between the grids. Now I added filters to the main content and uh, in the empty space I can add, yeah, for example, the block, block, block options, recent posts, scroller, recent posts, block, yes, wrapper, oh, doesn't matter, okay. Let's see the result. Yes, here we have filters now and walk at the left. Empty frames imply that there were no pictures in the original posts. We can fix that. Back at the layout page, block options, block, text links. Okay, now back to the sports page. And voila. Block looks just fine. As you can see in CSCart, well, lots of block types and lots of options. Don't be afraid to experiment. Make your store look completely unique. Thanks for watching and see you in your next CSCart video tutorials.